Welcome to section 7, the section on chemical bonding. And the very first video is on the basic concepts of chemical bonding. So the first thing we need to do is mention that the most important concept is the fact that all chemistry occurs at the electron level. We will not be changing the nuclei of any element that we're dealing with. All we can do is play with the electrons. We can say that chemical bonding occurs when atoms exchange or share valence electrons in order to make new compounds. And as you recall from section six, valence electrons are simply the electrons in the highest energy level. So for a quick review, let's take a look at the aluminum atom. Now the neutral aluminum atom has 13 protons and so it has 13 electrons. And these electrons are placed in the first, second, and third energy level. And on the third energy level, we can see that there are one, two, three electrons. So we would say that the aluminum atom has three valence electrons with this electron configuration. And if you look at the highest energy level, you see that there are three electrons here, two in the s orbital, one in the p orbital, 2 plus 1 equals 3, 3 valence electrons. Let's take a look at bromine. Bromine has 35 protons, so the neutral atom will have 35 electrons. They'll be placed in 1, 2, 3, 4 energy levels, the outermost being the fourth. And in the fourth energy level, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven electrons. So there are seven valence electrons here. Here is the electron configuration. And if you look at the outermost electrons in the fourth energy level, you see that there are two in the s orbital, five in the p orbital, two plus five equals seven, seven valence electrons. This is not a coincidence. So though if we take a look at the periodic table of the elements, and we look at the representative elements, which remember consist of the s block, those highlighted in red, and the P block, those highlighted in blue, what you first notice is that if you combine the two of them, there are eight columns. And it turns out that all of the elements in the first column have one valence electron, the second column have two valence electrons, in the third representative column have three, four in the fourth, five in the fifth, six in the si sixth, seven in the seventh, now, the 18th column is slightly different. These are the noble gases, the gases that really don't interact with anything. And they do not all have eight valence electrons. Helium only has two. But if you take a look at the electron configuration, what you see is in the outermost levels, you have 1s2. It's completely filled. 2s2, 2p6, completely filled. 3s2, 3p6. 4s2, 4p6, 5s2, 5p6, 6s2, 6p6, 7s2, 7p6, 2 plus 6 equals 8, but all of the elements in that column have a full valence shell. And this leads to what is colloquially called the octet rule. And the traditional definition of the octet rule is the representative elements tend to bond in such a way that each atom in the, in the compound will have eight electrons in the valence shell. But we know that helium, hydrogen, lithium will not have eight electrons in the valence shell, they'll only have two at most. So we need to change it slightly and say that the representative elements tend to bond in such a way that they achieve noble gas configuration, and this is probably the best definition of the octet rule. Now there are three ways to achieve noble gas configuration. You can lose electrons, you can gain electrons, or you can share electrons. And when you lose electrons or gain electrons, you form an ion, and an ion is defined as an atom which is not neutrally charged. You have either more protons than electrons or more electrons than protons, and we'll discuss this more in the next video. If you share electrons, you remain electrically neutral. So when it comes to bonding, there are two types of bonding. There is ionic bonding, where electrons get traded, and the ions, because they will have opposite charges and opposites attract, will attract each other. And you can have covalent bonding, which is where you share electrons. 
and we'll discuss each of these in separate videos. So to review the basics, chemistry occurs at the level of the electrons. Bonding is due to the exchange or sharing of valence electrons in order to make new compounds. Remember that valence electrons, the electrons in the highest energy level, the octet rule really states that atoms try to obtain noble gas configuration by either trading or sharing electrons. Ions are formed when an atom gains or loses electrons. Ions are not neutral atoms. They have an electrical charge attached to them. Because opposites that attract, ionic bonding occurs when electrons are traded, and covalent bonding occurs when electrons are shared. So those are the basics of bonding. In the next lecture, we're going to discuss what happens when representative elements ionically bond.